the Back This Customs Glitter channel and today I want to share with you a little trick on how to prevent the air bubbles and all of those tiny little spots in your straw topper molds. So this tip will work for anything that has like those little horns like a unicorn. Today we're going to use the Maleficent ears one. This has the two Maleficent points in there. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I got my epoxy mixed up already and my glitter mixed in. We're using Concord Grape today. I've got my lighter and this is our special little tool, uh, toothpick. Simple, right? So this has been sitting for just a minute. I've got some air bubbles on top. I am going to remove my air bubbles in my cup with my lighter really quickly. I don't do that for all of my molds, but since this is prone to air bubbles in those spots down there, I wanna make sure that that first little bit that I'm picking up has the least amount of air bubbles as possible. So I'm gonna move this over here actually. Now, I kind of tip this so that my horns are down. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier when I go in there. And you're gonna wanna move this middle part back and you're gonna wanna open it just a smidge. Now be careful, you don't wanna go hulking these things open because if you do, you're gonna tear them. They tear pretty easily. This is silicone, okay? Um, it is very durable in a lot of senses, but it, it can tear still very, very easily. So I'm gonna kind of open this up some, and I'm going to take a little bit with my toothpick, and I'm gonna get that down in that hole first. It's probably not gonna be super ex exact. I mean, you can see I'm kind of spilling it on the side here. That's okay. I'm doing this all one color. We'll have another video for you on um, a way to do these like two tones so you can get the points a different color, but when you're just doing one color, just slop it in there kind of. Um, you just kind of want to make sure that you're pushing it down into that point and getting the epoxy in that point all of the way before you fill the rest of it up. Sometimes when you fill these up really fast and fill it all the way, all at once, those air bubbles have a hard time getting pushed all the way up. So they get trapped down there. So doing it just a little slower and focusing on the parts that you know can be problematic will help you get a perfect straw topper each time so you don't have any mess ups. And see how I'm pretty well filled in my points there? So I am gonna just kind of tap it on my table table several times just to make sure it's really in there and I'm gonna watch it for just a second see if I've got any big air bubbles coming up but I don't which I really shouldn't and now we can pour the rest of it This is gonna really help those toppers come out great the first time. And again, I wanna pour this really, really slow and I'm kinda watching to make sure my ears fill up. And you sometimes you just have to be patient with the molds. It's really, really hard because there's not a ton of hands-on time. So I always just wanna like pull them out, um, but you gotta pour them slow and you gotta take them out slow. I like to make sure I'm at least flush. I like to dome it just a smidge. So when I dome it, it gives it just a little bit of a dome over top here. Uh, makes it a better finished bottom in my opinion. Sometimes it can sink down just slightly when you use your lighter and pop your bubbles. So we're gonna do that now. Okay. 
and it's just a tiny bit extra. Once you get it flush, it's literally just a tiny bit extra of epoxy to kind of dome it almost to the point where it looks like it might spill over, but it's not going to. Um, so I'm gonna leave this, we'll let this cure, and we'll demold it, and I'll show you how perfect that those horns come out using this toothpick technique. Okay, so my epoxy has been curing for a good 10 to 12 hours now, and I'm ready to demold my straw topper. Now these should come out fairly easily. If you go to demold these and you find it feel like you feel like it's really sticking to the bottom, then it could be because your epoxy is not fully cured. So give it a couple of more hours and then try again if you really feel like it's just stuck down there. So first thing I like to do is kind of just pull the side, like pull the edges away. And I take my thumb and I kind of move this middle piece to kind of loosen that middle piece up. And when I demold it, I'm gonna take my thumbs right here on the bottom, right in the center, and I'm gonna push up. So I'm gonna kinda of push this up just like that. I can grab a hold of it. And I can demold my straw topper. And there we go, look, our points are perfect. So this toothpick technique should help you. It's pretty much not all the way foolproof, but it's definitely going to reduce the amount of those bubbles in there. So I hope this helps y'all. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of our amazing little tricks.